Welcome to the JLG booth at uh, the uh, Reynolds Show. Meet Brian Beckman, who's uh, Global Product Manager for Telehandlers for JLG. Um, Brian, hey, the, the um, JLG's really focused on operators, and it's it's kind of come out in a new cab on this new series of Telehandlers. What, uh, what, what do you think are the most important features, the ones that operators are going to notice first when they get into this machine? Yeah, the very first thing on this cab, Larry, is that the nice stamp steel door. When you mm. first enter the cab, it's the first thing you see. Operators really feel the quality in the door. You sit down, you notice the new, brand new seat feels like you're sitting in an easy chair at home, right? The nice wraparound dash, ergonomically placed controls, single joystick gives you, gives you all the boom functions, you know, lift, lower, telescope, tilt, fork, fork tilt, up and back. Mm -hmm and transmission disconnect all on a single joystick. We support the operator's body. You know, there's a nice, comfortable armrest in there for him. Wonderful uh, features to enhance his confidence. Things like standard rear axle stabilization, optional reversing sensing systems, and optional reverse cameras as well. So we've really taken a lot of the feedback operators have given us over the last 20 years and incorporated it in this cab design. How well, much experience does JLG have with the rear view camera system on, like we're seeing on this machine? Yeah, rear view cameras are you know quite popular in the market today. Really coming on in terms of being able to withstand the rigors of construction equipment. So we've started in incorporating those into our new products and this new family of JLG products are the first ones to take that across the whole series of products. And it's interesting you mentioned the family. How many models are in this new family now? There's five models in the new JLG series, up to 12,000 pounds capacity and down to 6,000 pounds. Okay, and that's uh, in intended to be replacements for the for the existing JLG line? Absolutely. Right, yeah. right. So it's just a, a complete refresh. Yeah, the absolutely. We had the opportunity as we were moving to tier four final to really integrate a lot of what customers were telling us they needed new telehandlers mm -hmm. and we've done that with the JLG by approaching it from the ground up previously. How's this new series going to be different in terms of performance than the, than the previous machines? We retain all the, all the features that customers love about JLG today. Good rough terrain performance, high ground clearance, awesome terrain ability, fast boom function speeds, all those features and then we've taken that to the next level. So as you We've enhanced the visibility from the cab, we've enhanced the serviceability for the, for the technician. Um, we've really addressed a number of our customers' concerns with the existing product. I see. What, what about serviceability? I noticed, there, noticed there's been some changes in that area as well. Talk about some yeah, of the highlights there. Yeah, probably the easiest thing to highlight is we've, we've gone down, we've reduced the number of cylinders on the product, so we're down to a single lift cylinder and a single compensation cylinder. We've moved the telescope cylinder from deep inside the boom to an external mounted telescope cylinder on the outside of the boom. Uh, much easier access for service technicians. Is that across the line? They're all that way? It's, it's across the line. When you look at the engine bay, all the serviceable components of the engine are located on the outboard side, with the exception of an alternator and a starter, which can be accessed either through the top or from the bottom. We've introduced a new hood material on the JLG telehandlers and some of the boom lifts as well. It's called DuraTuff. It's a very rigid polymer that resists any sort of dent, scratches, that you may find in the rental environment. If you do happen to damage it, it's also very easy to repair. If we look inside, we can see that all the engine components that are serviceable are on the outboard side. Things like fuel filtration, engine filtration, located here, transmission, air cleaners, standard battery disconnect, as well as even a remote battery jumping post, should that ever become a requirement. We power this machine, as we talked earlier, with a Cummins 130 horsepower engine. It is a tier four final solution, um, which is obviously, as you know, is required by the EPA this year. This uses a SCR, it does, um, with DEF fluid, um, which is right located right behind the cap.